Hey everyone, welcome back to the ROMS HQ. Today I'm going to walk you through the full setup of the Yuzu Nintendo Switch emulator, step by step, updated for 2025. Whether you're new to emulation or just upgrading from an old setup, I've got you covered. Let's get right into it. First, head over to the official Yuzu, which is not anymore, but you are clever and got the idea where to get it from the one in the background. Down and run the emulator, as from ROMS HQ, you do not need to install it. It is pre-installed, I cannot say the D word as a fear of copyright. Before running Yuzu, you need to install the latest Visual C++ redistributables from Microsoft. And make sure your GPU drivers are fully up to date. These files are essential for performance and stability. Now open Yuzu. The first time you launch, it may ask for keys and firmware. These are required to decrypt and run Switch games, but I can't provide them here. You'll need to dump the prod.keys and title.keys from your own switch using homebrew tools like Hecate or Atmosphere. Drop them into the keys folder by clicking File Open Yuzu folder. Also, you will get them with the folder of the emulator. Same with the firmware. You'll dump this from your switch and paste it inside the NAND folder under System, Contents, Registered. Once done, restart Yuzu to finalize it. But again, it comes with the emulator. Now to add games to your emulator, click on the green plus sign. Choose the folder on your PC in which you have kept the game file. Choose the folder where you keep your SILE or NSP files. Once added, all your Switch games will show up in the main window, ready to play. Let's optimize graphics. Go to Emulation, Configure, and Graphics. Set API to Vulkan if you're on a modern GPU. Set resolution to native for performance, or 2x for sharper visuals. Enable async GPU emulation and keep disk shader cache on to reduce stutter. Yuzu supports keyboard, Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch Pro controllers. Go to Emulation, Configure, and Controls. Choose your controller type and map your buttons. Use Auto Configure if you're using something like an Xbox One controller. It works instantly. Want more performance? Set accuracy to accurate under CPU settings. You can also enable fast GPU time for better compatibility with games like Pokemon Scarlet and Zelda TOTK. Double click on any game to start. If it crashes, freezes, or shows a black screen, check my full Yuzu Crash Fix guide linked in the description below. Keep visiting ROMS HQ for everything you need about ROMS and emulation. 